Hey guys, this is Bharat and welcome to Bharat's Kitchen with how to make tamarind chutney or imli chutney. In this video, I'm going to show you a few traditional ingredients which actually nowadays are used pretty less. But don't worry, I'll give you all the various alternatives in the end. Okay, so sit back and relax and let's begin with it. So first, we're going to need some wild cucumber, which is also known as kachari. And this is a very traditional ingredient and apparently it's quite easily available. And if you want to know more about this ingredient, I've written a lot about it on my website. So you can go ahead and read that. So you just need to let this kachari sit in some water for about one and a half to two hours. And in the meanwhile, we're going to make a spice mix for our chutney. So we're going to begin with some carom seeds, also known as a juine, some ginger powder, also known as salt powder. Then we're going to add some coarsely grinded annie seed, which is also known as soft, some cumin powder, also known as jeera powder, some garam masala, some red chili powder, also known as lal mirch powder, some rock salt, also known as kala namak. And yes, it is a very important ingredient. And finally, we're going to add some plain and simple salt. You just need to mix everything together and keep this spice mix aside. Moving on, we need 75 grams of jaggery, which is also known as gur. And if you have a weighing scale, then use it in this recipe. But if you want measurements in cups, then you'll find all of them on my website. All right, we need to add about 100 grams of sugar. And finally, since it is a tamarind chutney, we obviously need some tamarind paste or imli paste. Okay, after one and a half hours, you'll notice that this wild cucumber or kachari would have become soft and you can easily open it. And yes, its seeds are edible, so don't worry. Now it's time to cook. So we're going to keep the flame at lowest and you're going to need a heavy bottom pot or any utensil which is like a pot and have a heavy bottom. Now to this utensil, I'm going to add some oil and some esophytida, which is also known as heeng. And as soon as you add the esophytida, add your kachari infused water. Then quickly add the jaggery, the tamarind paste, the sugar and the spice mix which you made earlier. And all you need to do is to cook this at a gentle simmer until you reach the desired consistency and you need to keep stirring it regularly. Now I know everybody out there wants a restaurant level consistency and don't worry, I'll tell you how to achieve that. You just need to listen carefully. So after some time, I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll start to feel a certain resistance while you're stirring it. And no, it's not because your arm is full of pain, which trust me, it will be. Well, actually, it's because the chutney has started to thicken. Well, you can notice the stream of the chutney has become a little thicker. All you need to do is to take some chutney and on the back of your spoon, clear a stream with your little finger. And yes, the chutney is hot. So you can see that the chutney is very stable right now and the line that you've created with your finger is very clear. That means it has the right consistency. So you just need to turn the flame off and make sure that you've strained all the kachri chunks out. And yes, you need to scrape the bottom of your strainer. Transfer it to a clean airtight container and refrigerate it for about 3 to 4 hours before using it. And, and if you want to store this chutney for weeks, then cover it with the cling wrap and then the airtight container. And you can easily store them in a refrigerator for weeks. Okay, now finally, what do you do if you don't have this wild cucumber or kachari? Well, there are only three additions or changes in the recipe. So first, you need to add half teaspoon of mango powder or amchur powder to the spice mix and the rest of the spice mix combo is just as before. The second addition is that you need to increase the level of tamarind paste by 10 grams or about 1 teaspoon and rest the jaggery and the sugar is just as before. 
you'll cook it just as before by taking a pot and some oil with some asafoetida and everything else. But the third addition here is that you need to add some melon seeds also known as tarbooz ke bhi. Okay, it's just optional. Finally, you need to keep stirring it just as before and you look for the same consistency just as before. And there it is guys, your tamarind chutney without the kachari. Well, you can serve this chutney with some samosas or even with some dahi vade chaat. Or you can also serve it like I did in my crispiest aloo tikki video. But it's totally on you to decide on which method you like. So there you go guys, how to make a tamarind chutney or imli chutney. And you'll find all the list of ingredients and their measurements on my website. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. For updates and queries, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Google+. Until then, I'll see you all next time.